Student athletes have been preparing their entire lives for their sports career. And when the pandemic hit and everything was suddenly shut down, it was devastating for all athletes on every level. On Thursday, March 12, 2020, college athletes who had dedicated their college years to their sport were told they were being sent home indefinitely. It happened in a blink of an eye, and at the time, those students didn't realize they wouldn't return for the rest of the season. We're going to our fourth weekend, which would have been University of Michigan, and that Thursday, you know, as we were preparing to leave for the bus, um, we got the call that everything shut down. The sudden shutdown affected student athletes at every level. It was especially devastating for high school seniors who missed out on their final seasons. So it was just very shocking. And I think for them, there was no closure. So school ended without really ever having all the fanfare that you normally have at the end of a school year. It's kind of disappointing, you know, not only to lose your last year of like playing senior volleyball for your high school and your club team, but um, having that uncertainty if you're even going to be able to play your first year uh, of college ball. As the pandemic continued, athletes were affected even into their fall seasons. You know, you think you're going to go out and make friends and like hang out with each other, you know, walk around, go different places on campus and get to know the team, be here early and everything. But it's kind of been the opposite of that. They probably didn't want to admit it. Um, they probably still won't admit that they lost a little bit of motivation, but you can see it. For high school seniors, Sweet Home Athletic Director Marissa Duria says scholarship opportunities were also affected. Many college seniors stayed an extra year because of the COVID pause, and their scholarships were renewed, which took away scholarship opportunities for freshman athletes. Across the country, it's harder to get a scholarship now in a pandemic when you don't have other resources like opportunities for coaches to see you. And then on top of that, that trickle down of, um, you know, college seniors staying an additional year. You got to trust in where you're getting your people from. You're getting a lot of video recruiting now, and we've never been a large program that recruits off video. Um, we want to see the kids in person. We want to develop a relationship. Although athletes were eventually able to resume their sports, things looked very different than a normal year. Tom Kohler is Buffalo State's athletic director. He says coaches have to stay up to date on guidelines, not only from New York State, but also the SUNY system, the NCAA, and the Erie County Health Department. There's a lot that goes behind the scenes in order to keep student athletes safe, the community safe, and also to get our spring athletes out on the field, out on the diamond, playing softball and lacrosse, and running track and field. So it's really important to maintain a cohort and separate your teams because otherwise you could uh, run the risk of having both of those teams go out on a pause. For athletes, the new reality is constant testing and having to be responsible not only for themselves, but for their teammates. Many teams had to quarantine multiple times throughout their season. Being in you know, quarantine for two weeks and then some kids test positive the week after you get out of quarantine and then you're back in quarantine again for another two weeks. It was pretty stressful. Just this morning we've dealt over the last couple of hours with COVID testing and ensuring that our student athletes are properly tested and then that we get the reports back. Athletes and coaches at every level are hoping for a return to a more normal season this fall. I don't want my job to be mask police. I want my job to be a baseball coach. Right now as I'm being told you know they're planning for a quote-unquote normal fall for the sports season. There is an expectation that Students will be back on campus. We'll be doing in-person classes and not Zooms anymore. Uh, football will be practicing and playing, right? Soccer will be playing again. As COVID vaccines continue to be distributed, many administrators and athletes feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I miss so much the vibrancy of our campus, of walking down and seeing some of our student athletes on the spine or in the union. I look so forward to getting back to the normalcy of a regular college environment. If you would like to see an unedited version of any of these interviews, visit our website at broadcastingbuffalo.com. From Broadcasting Buffalo, I'm Valerie Ryan.